Since 1989, Otto Rodriguez has been preaching the Word of God both in English and Spanish in many churches, with many accepting Jesus as their Savior. In 1991, Otto helped start the first Spanish-speaking church in Western North Carolina. The goal has always been to preach biblical truths in love. Several years ago, Aware Ministries was established as a 501c3 nonprofit organization, of which the internet radio ministry, Radio Oseas, Hosea Radio, is a part of. Gloria a Dios, amado hermano, le habla hermano Otto de Radio Oseas.com y otras estaciones de Radio AM también, por supuesto. Le damos gracias al Señor por lo que Él hizo en la cruz por nosotros y queríamos, queríamos darle una introducción al programa, por supuesto, porque muchos de ustedes quizás están escuchando por la primera vez. We la preach, uh, like Paul said, Jesus crucified. And it's a stumbling block, of course, uh, for the Jews and craziness for the unbelievers. We preach sound doctrine. In other words, we tell it like it is in love. What is sound doctrine? Sound doctrine is we're lousy people, we're bad people. Jesus loves us so much, he died for us on the cross. It was a sacrifice and he's coming soon. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Now we talk about a lot about prophecies, but we preach it in love. And the whole goal of this ministry is to wake up the Christians. Most, most churches, not all of them, of course, most churches are not preaching sound doctrine. They're afraid to talk about sin. They're afraid to talk about the sacrifice on the cross because they get people upset and they leave. We tell you in love. And always the goal is not to show people that we know more about prophets than anybody else does, but in love show what Jesus did for us on the cross. What we have is we have a, uh, a network that carries our programming the audio part, of course, the radio part, over 500 uh, internet stations, even though, of course, the AM stations that we're on live, of course, in uh, places in the United States, they get our signal through that network. However, they also have TV. We do live TV also, and you can pick up this, you know, the signal from the live TV that we do. I've been asked, why don't we ask for money? We are non-profit, but the biggest complaint I get, for example, some comments that we get on Facebook, another guy asking for money. We know tithes is from the Bible, of course. We know love offerings are, if you're hopefully putting in, in the right ministry. But the reason we don't ask is so people cannot use that as an excuse not to hear. I believe it's a program that will change the hearts of people and will get them into the sound doctrine. The Bible says, the Lord said in 2 Thessalonians, that the Lord will send a strong delusion that the number one sign of the coming of the Antichrist is apostasy, and apostasy is going away from the word of the Lord. We're trying to bring the Christians back before it's too late.